Officials in Jack County, northwest of Fort Worth, where an EF3 tornado struck the city of Jacksboro, are hopeful power will be restored by the end of tonight. About 80 homes were destroyed, two schools heavily damaged, classes canceled for the rest of the week. But baseball and softball games, they were played tonight, thanks to the help of a town that was also affected by tornadoes. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live tonight in Bowie with the story. Stephen. Parents and some community members made the 29 mile drive north to Bowie to support the baseball and softball teams for a couple of hours, taking their mind off the devastation. Sports to many is seen as an escape or a unifier, especially during times of struggle. When they chose to go ahead and play this game. They felt it was important for the girls and I agree. And you can see the parents and the grandparents are here. We're all supporting each other. First thing I did when I saw my daughter was give her a great big hug. Two days after the EF3 tornado ripped through Jacksboro and damaged the high school and elementary school, instead of canceling Wednesday night softball and baseball games, high school leaders decided to play their games at Bowie High School. Two tornadoes from Monday night's outbreak also hit the Bowie area, but the school and facilities there were spared. A Jacksboro elementary teacher was among those supporting the players Wednesday night. I was in the at the elementary when everything was going on, so it was uh, very surreal. Donna Murphy's granddaughters are on the softball team. She's worked at the elementary school for the last four years. Murphy helped keep children safe and tried to keep them calm. I was at the front of the building. And so the wind was really strong and the door that was pulled down was just shaking and one of the parents actually was holding the door down. Her husband Mike is also happy the games were played. It's a good distraction for the kids to get their mind off of what has happened in Jacksboro. Just being able to support the team and uh, help them through this because it's traumatic for all of us and particularly for young people. One of the coaches, uh, his house got damaged pretty bad. Carolyn McComas's grandson was at baseball practice right before the storm hit the school's gym. I'm glad that they are able to play tonight so quickly after the storm. This is a, they'll bounce back. While the outcome of the games were important, this night was to show more than how well Jacksboro could hit or pitch. This night was about showing strength and supporting the community recovering from disaster. God protected us, and um, we have an incredible community. Mm -hmm. And the support since then, meals, helping out any way they can. And the kids were very focused on both fields behind me, winning big. The other teams didn't even score any runs. So good night for all the fans and the teams.